Hello, this is Brandon from Techie Dad. We just got our Alien 3D monthly subscription box for the month of March. So I figured I might as well open it and let's see what we got this month. All right, so here's the monthly March box. It's got some cool Leprechaun March inspired designs. Uh, looks like this was also pushed by Arkmon. But let's open this up and see what kind of goodies this has. So upon first open, always we get the nice color pamphlet. It's got everything about what's gonna happen in, in the box. Got your sponsor information, a nice uh, thank you note, uh, personally made by Josh every month to kind of go over everything. Um, and it looks like, you know, some more information. So yeah, it was Art Mods that did the design for the box, which is really cool. And every month is, you know, got a nice cool design for it. Like I said, this one is Leprechaun expire, uh, inspired for the month of March. And it looks like this month's accessory is an acrylic paint set. So that'll be pretty cool to go through. And they got some information about the mothership, which if you haven't already seen, or if this is your first time, uh, there's usually a coin um, that is printed and put in here um, that will be for one subscriber each month. And you get different prizes um, as the master thing uh, or master giveaway. And uh, this is the kind of the details of what it looks like it's going to be. And they have on here for uh, the bonus project for every month, and they've got the URL to where to go to. So we will set that aside for now. And it looks like here's some of the paint pieces for the kit. It looks like some of them have shifted, but we'll get through them all. All right, first up, looks like we have filament. This is Ranger Green Pet G, uh, extrusion 245 to 270, bed temp. 70 from IC3D and it's a little hard to tell this is a lot more like the olive drab uh, army type colors um, got a nice dark uh, greenish gray look to it got really nice uh, vacuum seal so that's pretty nice uh, next up is a gradient rainbow PLA uh, from Sona Labs, uh, extrusion 190 to 230, bed temp 0 to 80, so it looks like it's got a big range. Looks like mostly green on, on the one side, but if you flip it over, it's got some of the red tints in, into it as well. So that'd be pretty cool. Again, nice, uh, nice good vacuum seal. It's always nice to see on these repackaging. Uh, next up, we have Gold Silk PLA um, from Strong Hero 3D. Uh, extrusion temp 190 to 220, bed temp 0 to 60. Also, still a really good seal. It's got a nice, shiny gold. And I've heard that the Silk Edition is, prints really, really, really smooth layer lines. Uh, so that'll be a real treat to see what kind of things we can come up with. And the last major self. Filament sample is from Filament 1, PLA Pro Select, uh, Glint Green Metallic PLA. Uh, extrusion temp 195 to 225, bed temp 40 to 60. Still has that nice uh, vacuum seal, always appreciated. And it does have some nice shining, glimmering, hopefully like, it's picking it up, but it looks, looks really nice. That does it for the filament samples. It looks like we have another brush set and like two more colors. So we got an orange yellow, a rose, gold, mauve pale, and I don't know how to pronounce that, something green uh, with two different brushes. So that would be really cool to have for future prints to be able to paint it and test these out and see how, how good a quality they really are. And of course we got our stickers, so we got some Print Solid, Sono Labs, one of the filaments. Always appreciative to get some Harry Bow gummy bears. Oh, looks like we got a dual color lizard that was included in this month. And I heard there was kind of an interesting story of some people having some 
real dried up lizards in their box a couple months ago, and it was kind of a funny joke that they carried on and put some some real ones in there now, or some real printed ones, I should say. Uh, looks like we got a Kiss Me on My Irish candy, and for the project this month, it looks like it is an LED flashing light piece that you can do a leprechaun hat or looks like a pot of gold and it comes with all the the pieces that are needed except for the battery so there's a couple different LEDs little um, solder board that you can connect it all with and it looks like a couple of resistors so that'll be a, a nice interesting project to put on there and see what other details they have besides uh, obviously just the card see if they can give us any other ideas for what to build for the whole kit um, I'll put information down below um, giving you how to sign up for the subscription and or um, take advantage of even just the filament only box that just comes with the filament none of the extra extra pieces um, it is cheaper um, for those that don't you know want want the extra little goodies but I know the kids enjoy the project every month so and of course I do too so it's always uh, fun and appreciated to see what kind of new stuff that they get to include in all this hey guys real quick I just wanted to throw this last little bit in uh, I did find a battery real quick to kind of test a few of the LEDs and I did notice something kind of interesting so if you just put it positive on the long leg negative on the short lights up and it's just basically blue but if you're able to kind of weave this uh, one of the resistors in let me get it tightened up here so it's just on say like the negative leg and you touch it to where it goes into the color change mode and it starts doing all the other pieces so uh, you don't necessarily have to do the project um, but this would give you a learning opportunity to kind of play around and do some extra stuff. Uh, it comes with five resistors and ten LEDs. Um, and then of course the, the circular breadboard so you can put it in and solder it. And then there's also a video that Josh put out uh, on the site for the project to show how to be able to connect this without soldering anything. Uh, so definitely check that out. And again, I'll make sure I'll put the links uh, down below. Thanks.